Hello, welcome back. Today is May 15th, 2022, which means I have officially been living in Kyoto for one month and two weeks. So I've been really enjoying Kyoto. It's been so much fun getting to explore all the temples, the shrines, and eat the delicious food. But yeah, I've been getting a lot of questions on how much it costs to live in Kyoto. At first I wasn't really sure. I was kind of like settling in and just like spending a lot of money. But um, now that I've been here a whole month, I feel like I have a better grasp on how much it does cost to live here so I can better answer this question. So I wanted to go through all my expenses on a weekly and monthly basis. I like wrote it all down here and did a lot of math, that was fun. I want to start with my biggest expense, which was school. So if you're coming here for a student, maybe this is, depending on what school you go to, this might be what your expenses for school look like. Sorry if I'm looking down a lot, I'm looking at my notes. Can't memorize all these numbers. So my application fee for my school was 2,200 yen, which is about $340 USD. And that was just the application fee. So that's a one-time fee that you pay when you're applying before you even go to the school. The tuition in total was 450,000 yen, which is $3,482 USD. It's expensive, but that's for six months of school and it includes all your textbooks and I didn't have to pay anything else. Everything was included there in that price. I'm not going to include this in my monthly or weekly budget because this was something I paid for before I even moved to Kyoto. It was just kind of that big chunk of expense took a lot of saving up to get it but I did it and I'm here. So next the biggest question I get asked all the time is how much is rent? So this question it's a tough question to answer. It varies a lot. It depends what kind of living situation you are signing up for. There are a lot of share house options for foreigners. I found a share house option that was kind of mixed. It's mostly for Japanese, but I they do allow foreigners if you speak some Japanese. You don't have to be great at it. You can speak conversational basic level. I got really lucky with my housing situation. If you didn't see my video a few weeks ago about moving here and what it's been like. I'm living in a share house. So I'm one of four people in this share house. It's really awesome. It's a two floor old style Japanese Kyoto house. My room is washitsu. It has the tatami mats. If you're into Japanese architecture, you might really enjoy something like this. Anyway, how much does it cost? So to live in a share house like this, I pay 32,000 yen, which is $340 USD. Super cheap. When I was living in a share house, when I was one of three people in New York City, I was paying $1,000 USD or $900 USD. Actually, I have a video about my New York living situation. It was one of the first videos I made. It was kind of just practice <laughs> being on camera and talking and stuff. Um, you can watch it if you want, but it's kind of embarrassing. So my utilities are 12,000 yen per month or $92 USD. So yes, obviously this is gonna vary a lot depending on your living situation. If you're living alone, these prices might double, but this is probably the smallest amount you can possibly pay on rent. Like I found the most affordable <laughs> option as I'm a student right now and I'm not working full time, I'm working part time. So yeah, in total with utilities and rent every month, I'm paying 44,000 yen or $433 USD. My utilities are a flat rate, which is awesome. Another thing I love about this share house. So that includes gas, water, Wi-Fi, electric, everything. Oh, and toilet paper, cleaning products, paper towels, like everything. The, the apartment's fully furnished, so I had to buy nothing, which has been amazing. So yes, that flat rate for utilities has been great. Um, back when I was in Kochi, I was paying about $150 in utilities, just like Wi-Fi, I don't know, gas, electric, water. So it was more money when I was living on my own in Kochi. I assume it would be even more money living in Kyoto, which is a bigger, more expensive city. Not totally sure. But yeah, if you're living on your own, plan to spend about $150 USD on utilities, maybe more. And if you're not doing a share house, yes, plan for your rent to be maybe 600, 700 USD or more. Again, this is all me just assuming. Please do your own research. I can only talk from my experience, which is the share house. That's my housing expenses. So we covered school expenses. We covered housing expenses. Let's go over my grocery bill. So how much is it to buy food in Japan? Well, I'm glad you asked. I spent a total of $3,078. Uh, not dollars, 3,078 yen 
on groceries yesterday and, and this is what I bought so I eat mostly vegetarian I usually maybe it's a little more expensive I usually buy tofu and beans and stuff but I actually had that already in my house so I didn't have to buy it and I usually go grocery shopping like twice a week so let's say I spent 3078 yen on this grocery trip which is $23 USD let's double that because I do that about twice a week so it's about $47 USD per month that's about 6156 yen or 47 USD per week on groceries. Next, temples and shrines. So if you're coming to Kyoto from overseas, I'm assuming you're going to want to explore temples and shrines. I'm right now trying to explore at least one temple or shrine every week on my own before school, as you might have seen in my last video when I visited Kinkakuji. So I'm going to go off of that video of what I spent on that temple. So let's say hypothetically you go to one temple or shrine per week. You might do more, you might do less. My admission ticket for Kinkakuji was 400 yen or $3 USD. I bought a good luck charm, which was 600 yen or $4 USD. I bought some tea and wagashi, which I ate at the temple, it was kind of like an experience thing, which was $3.87 USD. I also bought omikuji, which is a fortune, and that's 100 USD or 77 cents. In total, my whole day at the temple, I spent 1600 yen or $12 USD. Yeah, so that's on temples and shrines. What about other extracurricular activities? You're not just going to want to be sitting in your house doing nothing when you're in Kyoto. So I also like to explore the cafes. Kyoto has amazing food, especially if you're vegan or vegetarian, like coming from Kochi when there was really no options for vegan or vegetarian, which by the way, I'm not vegan or vegetarian. I just really prefer to eat that way and I try to eat that way as much as possible. For health reasons, I can't be 100% vegan or vegetarian, but that's for another video. I like to go to one cafe per week on my own. It's kind of like I take myself out on a solo date. So here's my receipt from yesterday's solo date. I went to a cafe and I spent $1,830. I'm sorry, not dollars. One, I did that again. I spent 1,830 yen, which is about, I wrote it down, which is about $14 USD. And this is expensive for a cafe, by the way. You can go out to eat and spend much less money. This is the high end of how much it costs to eat out here at a cafe in Kyoto. Yeah, I got a bread plate and a soy latte. A bread plate, it was just like a plate of really delicious food. I'm also gonna go out to a cafe again today with one of my friends. So we're gonna double that. I don't know how much it's gonna be, but let's just assume it's around the same price. 3,660 yen or $28 USD per week on cafes. And this is like way more than I normally spend, but I'm just being generous here. I'm also gonna go to a museum today with my friend. Here it is. This is what I'm going to. I'm very excited for it. And the tickets to this museum are $1,600. Again, tickets to this museum are 1,600 yen or $12 USD. So that is pretty much all the money I spend living in Kyoto. And that's not including traveling. Sorry, I need some tea. That's not including traveling, that's not including anything else but living and existing here while also enjoying Kyoto with cafes, temples, museums, and stuff like that. So how much do I spend every week and how much do I spend every month? Let's do the math. I did not do this math yet. Should we start with monthly or weekly? Let's do monthly. So after a lot of calculation on my iPhone calculator, this is what I've come up with. My weekly spending in Kyoto is around 24,000 yen or $209 USD. My total monthly spending in Kyoto is 96,000 yen or $836 USD. This is probably a huge overestimation because realistically when I go to temples and shrines I don't always buy omikuji and tea and good luck charms. I usually just pay the admission price. I don't go to museums every single week and I don't go to two cafes every week, usually just one. But I wanted to be kind of, I don't know, I wanted to overestimate rather than underestimate. So yeah, about 836 per month is how much I spend living in Kyoto. It's actually kind of good to tack on these like bigger prices because I do travel too um, once a month. So the traveling costs even more money. So I probably realistically spent living in Japan spend about a thousand dollars a month with rent, travel, food, life in general, um, existing. Existing is expensive because we live in a society. Yes, and Kyoto is an expensive city compared to other places in Japan. If you're living in the countryside, like, don't worry about it. If you have a teaching job in the countryside, like, 
you're fine. Yeah, I do. I did save up a lot to be able to live here while only working part time. So yeah, that is my monthly and weekly spending living in Kyoto, Japan. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful in some way. Please comment down below if you have any questions and like and subscribe for more Japan things. I'll see you next time.